so you need to log in so i'm going to choose an account that i can log in with so that i can create an online form so i'm going to log in using my own personal gmail log in and then once you are logged in obviously because it's gmail you will see your emails so the reason why i said it's google apps is because you need to go inside google you need to log in and go straight to the apps this is the apps button google apps click it and then you will scroll down to find a uh, an option to create forms so these are the apps on your phone you see this without uh, logging in if you buy a new phone or any other phone you already see this as part of your menu if your phone is supporting google but because you are now on a computer you need to log into gmail and go to this button of apps because now you are a uh, opening the applications of google on a computer you need that button but on a phone it's straightforward you you just go and find the apps so this a uh, forms button when you click it it will create it will open where you can start a new form a form like a form that you fill in manually if it's a registration form at a college a form to fill it fill in at a surgery if you're opening a file at the doctor you can create it to be online so if i click here to say start a new form uh, you see it says title here you can give it a name you know maybe i can say um vaccine vaccination registration vaccination registration then maybe here a uh, form description maybe i can just write something that is uh, specific to what is happening in the form and say fill in the form to capture your details you know now the first in, uh, question that you want someone to see before they fill in the form you can write it there where it says an untitled question you click there you 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 type what you want them to fill in maybe i can say what or maybe let let's say yeah what is what is your id number okay so now id number cannot be something that they are going to answer as options where they click then i have to change the type of equation and make it a short answer whereby they are going to type because uh, they have to put numbers there you understand then now i don't want them to skip this and say i don't want to fill it in then i can change here and say required so if they didn't fill in this the form will not be submitted it will reject and say you missed out a blank space a blank space you know it will refer them back again because i switched on the required so when you create an online form you come up with a question you put a space where they are going to answer and then you can change the question type whether to be multiple choice where they are going to choose or they are going to fill in the required information and then you can make it a requirement that you can't skip this question if you skip it you can't go to the next one so what if i have question number two then you click here where it says add question when you click here it opens another slot that one is done you see this red asterisk it means that that question is compulsory then i go to the next question i say gender maybe i want them to fill in to choose their gender then here i can change this and make it a a drop down so when you make it a drop down you have to choose options here and put them and type them actually so i can say male and the other one here add option and then say female type it female so and and also say required just like that then if i go to add question then it will be the next question and so on so you see so the ones that you do they are already part of the form until you finish all of them and then what if you want to see how the form will look like you can go and click that eye there to preview it to see how someone will see it when they open with the link because you are the creator 
so when i click here i will just have a version okay this is just a message to tell me that it's an auto save okay i click okay so this is a uh, the way they will see it you know so it will be like this when they open with the link where they have to type in their id where gender when they click here it will give them two options they choose the right one and so on and fill all the other information until they click the button submit at the end then it will come to your email as the creator then you receive all the feedback that you wanted to receive so how do they receive the link remember this is a preview uh, screen let me go back a little bit and click the tab of where i'm working on the form okay i can close this and the tab where i'm working on the form here it is so if i want to send it to people to preview or to get a link to follow or to open the form i can click here where it says send and then send via email or link this is the link icon you click here then you can even click here to shorten the link so that it's not something very big then you can copy this and paste it anywhere on whatsapp send it on their emails then once they click to follow that link what they will see is this and fill in the information you will receive feedback via email that uh, whosoever and so ever uh, uh, filled in the form just like that so when when you create this form how do you print it for me to mark it because you are going to do it as part of the exam so once you created it like this you can go here on this small button here click here and go to print okay so it will open a print preview where i can see the form that you created so it shows me the title when you created it what is the title of the form the subtitle of the form the questions that you had to create i will see that this is a short question multiple choice drop down and so on if it's like that then you print it out very simple the issue here is that can you log in using your account and create the form then you can pass this question everyone can pass this question okay